Let's write a C program to find least common multiple that is LCM of two integer numbers. So LCM is the smallest positive integer that is perfectly divisible by given integer values without any reminder. If the two numbers are 3 and 2, the LCM of 3 and 2 is 6 because 6 is the least that is the smallest integer number which is perfectly divisible by both these numbers 2 and 3. Okay. So let's write a C program and ask the user to enter num1 and num2 and then calculate the LCM for those two integer numbers. I'll take some variables num1 num2 LCM maybe I'll take one more variable fact and I assign it a value of 1. Now I'll ask the user to input two integer numbers for which we need to calculate the LCM. I'll store those numbers inside the address of variables num1 and num2. Now let me find out the biggest of these two numbers and store it inside the variable LCM. Okay, so I'll be using ternary operator here. If you don't know how to use ternary operator, please, please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. Okay, so this is the condition num1 is greater than num2. If this condition is true, I'll return num1. If that condition is false, I'll return num2. And the returned value will be stored inside the variable LCM. Now I'll write the loop while fact. Fact is a positive number so it will keep iterating until fact value is zero once fact is zero while loop exits the control exits the while loop so here comes the interesting part now lcm modulo division number one equals to double equals zero and lcm modulo division number two double equals zero so while this while loop iterates i'll increment the value of lcm by one for each iteration so if these two conditions that is lcm modulo division number one and lcm modulo division number two both are perfectly divisible and gives zero as the result then we have found the least common multiple of num1 and num2 in that case we will print out those values and make sure fact is zero once fact is assigned to zero while loop the control exits the the while loop so we have found LCM for the two entered user entered numbers. So let me check that three and two LCM is six. Let us check one more time 12 and 24. 24 should be the LCM here and it's working. Let me check one more time now. Now I'll give 15 and maybe 20 LCM should be 60 and it's working. Okay, that's great. So in the next video, I'll show how to calculate LCM based on GCD value that is greatest common divisor value. So that's the that's our next video. Until then, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video without fail. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.